Today is a very, very exciting day for me. Uh, those of you who have watched my content for a while will know that a wee while ago uh, my contrabass trombone, my B-flat contrabass trombone was injured and damaged in a uh, mysterious accident that we're not going to talk about whatsoever. But today I have it back. Here is my contrabass trombone all repaired. Um, it works now. It is obviously got some scars, some battle scars, but it is now back with me and playable. Uh, and so today I'm just sort of creating this short video to celebrate the return of the prodigal son, my B-flat contrabass trombone. Uh, the worst uh, areas affected are the bell section. Um, there's quite a lot of sort of crinkling around here. It's now round, it's all got the right contours, but there's quite a few battle scars on here. The slide, which was uh, pretty much completely unusable after the uh, injury that we're not going to talk about, is now back and working. Um, it's still got a lot of resistance, but that's because of the sheer weight of the slide uh, more than the actual damage that was done to it. And um, otherwise it's been put back together and it, it's just great. So um, it's fantastic to have this back. But the one thing that I uh, just want to talk about briefly is that since I haven't been able to play this for quite a while, it was so, I'd forgotten the massive physical requirements to playing this behemoth. This instrument is heavy. It is probably at least twice as heavy as a standard bass trombone because of the extra tubing naturally, but also because it's not made lightly. It is made as a bit of a tank. So it is a massive thing to carry around. Um, the slide, the diameter, the, the width of the slide is incredible. So your hand, your left hand is under a lot of strain holding it. And then you've got the fact that it has the same amount of tubing as a B flat tuba, but it has a lot fewer twists and turns. So it uses all of your ear pretty much straight away. Trying to play even a bar or two of music without having to breathe is uh, very difficult. This thing is an absolute monster to try and play. But I've got it back with me. It is fixed, it is playable, and I have the plans in the near future to make a multi-track recording featuring the contrabass trombone. It's a contrabass trombone solo uh, with other trombone accompaniment. So that's something I'm wanting to record in the near future. Uh, I just want to say a big thanks to my Patreon supporters. It is the help that I've received from people like you, uh, more so than the, you know, the few dollars and cents that I get from YouTube each month, uh, that has made repairs like this possible. So I really appreciate the support uh, that I receive from people on Patreon. To find out more about Patreon, there's a link in the description below. So I just want to uh, play a few notes just to try and um, get some of the cobwebs out. And thank you once again for tuning in.